you're going to show me custom Yu-Gi-Oh cards today. Uh, you guess custom Hearthstone cards to see if they were real or not. We're doing the exact same thing. But here's the thing. Every Yu-Gi-Oh card looks like it's made up. So this is in indefinitely more hard than what you had. I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards are kind of like throwing darts at a dartboard. You just kind of mad lib a bunch of cards together, a bunch of words together, and then they're just like, yeah, we could probably make this work. Basically, you're saying when they design Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they just have the mad lib booklets and they're just sending in hoping for the best. Exactly. Catch them at the Scholastic Book Fair, bro. <laughs> School. That's a fucking core memory you just unlocked. I miss those Holy days when the only thing I had to worry about was begging my parents money for a bendy pencil or a giant overpriced book of guinness world records i wanted the fucking spy books oh, right, that's, that's the shit dude, that i the wanted spy bro. gadgets dog <laughs> dude that was the shit and my mom was always like no it's a waste of money that i always was really sad here's your first bullet there's <laughs> man i'm really open this is a fake card just for the name eradicating aerosol you know, I didn't even consider this, but the art, I'm actually really excited to see. <laughs> like, for the custom cards, it, I don't even think this is a custom card. Let's be real here. Destroy all face-up insect-type monsters on the field. See, actually, you know what? The flavor of this card makes a lot of sense. I was really <laughs> worried just from the name itself and the image that this was going to not relate to Yu-Gi-Oh! at all, but this is actually a pretty real-looking card. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, the hand looks real... God, I'm going to say this is a real card, but honestly, I have no idea. But it, it's so stupid that I think like they would put this into the game. You are correct. This is a real yes. card. <laughs> this is like a we... boomer card, bro. I don't even think I, I just, existed in this world yet. I just can't believe there's a card in Yu-Gi-Oh! called Eradicating Aerosol. <laughs> I think this was actually in, in a format called Speed Duels. This was actually <laughs> meta competitive. I don't know why, but I was told... Oh, that this shit was actually pretty fu pretty flames. Maybe maybe insects were just broken in the format. Maybe, but I don't see speed duels as real gaming. Do you uh, do you think Master Duel is real gaming? Actually, honestly, all of Yu-Gi-Oh is not really gaming. This is a fucking clown fiesta. I prefer really not to um, not to speak. My lawyer said not to say anything. Next card. Castle of Dark Illusions. Um, I actually know what the stars mean now that I've played Yu-Gi-Oh, so we can summon this without tributing anything. Isn't that awesome? Okay, cool. Uh, Fiend? I don't know how, how much. I don't think I should really read into the fact, but we'll see. Or the, the type of the monster, I should say. Flip. All zombie type monsters gain 200 attack and defense. During each of your next four standby phases, each of those zombie type monsters gain 200 more attack and defense. Oh my god. Don't think too hard about how a how a big castle is a fiend. God, I don't see it's even hard because like I said at the start of this video, every effect in Yu-Gi-Oh could be real. <laughs> I don't think you've ever showed me a flip effect yet. I don't remember a flip effect. Oh, flip effects I... in Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh my god. These are the good old days when you could actually have a have have time to yourself to like set a monster and like gain some beneficial effect. So this is like an older mechanic. They haven't they haven't made this recently because the game's too fast at this point. They're like, what's uh, the point? Yeah, basically. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna based on what you just said. That's a little bit of meta gaming. Um, I'm gonna think this is real just because I could see this being like a very very old Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh, the if you told me that this was made in the past like ten years, I wouldn't believe you. I would hope that the designers have gone a little bit better of like matching flavor with the card itself. But honestly, I'm coping really hard there. It seems I'm gonna say this is real. Yeah, this is unfortunately a real card. <laughs> I don't I don't know what they were thinking. Why what what is this? This was like an actual like castle oh. that somebody that this guy named Panic summoned to buff his zombies and it would just float in the air. And I shit you not, the way how Yugi beat like the zombies being buffed was I think Panic activated a shield that protected his castle and then Yugi shot a guy on a horse with a catapult turtle <laughs> at the castle and because all the zombies are trapped inside the shield they were crushed by the castle i gotta i gotta check this anime again it's been a while editor roll the clip <laughs> barrier statue of the creator uh this is a divine beast neither player can special summons monsters except divine monsters the attack and defense are a thousand okay Oddly enough, the symmetrical attack and defense is the thing that's throwing me off here. Like, the effect seems like a normal Yu-Gi-Oh effect, and I can get behind a barrier statue of the creator name, even though it sounds absolutely ridiculous, just because you showed me Castle of Dark Illusions and the spray. So that's not, that's not, the attack being 
a thousand and the defense being a thousand seems really weird wait a minute yeah i i i, I caught a huge brain this to be honest okay i'm gonna you ready for this this is a fake heart divine is all capped all caps where if you look at eradicating aerosol insect only has the the eye capitalized fake card uh yeah, this is a fake card you are oh. correct my, is my logic wrong no your logic is wrong they just fucked up the text of eradicating aerosol wait did they oh my god maybe that, that's like an old thing yeah and then they, they start adding you, you it think, in. you think anyone designing this card game has any semblance of future proofing or like consistency have you seen pot of greed have you seen graceful charity have you seen painful choice dude see you say that about Yu-Gi-Oh, though but hearthstone is the exact same way man they have changed their formatting over 10 years they, they were it's a small indie company blizzard listen they're all, all card games or any companies. I'm, I'm starting to learn that even Magic is even a great company, which is kind of surprising. Next card. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that art is really something. See, the other thing is, is when I did the video with you, like, I think it's somewhat obvious, even though I told you don't really worry about the art for the most part, like you could tell like if it's an AI generated art, right? Mm. But even if this is AI generated, it's so believable because Yu-Gi-Oh's art is so weird. Yu-Gi-Oh's art is okay. so demented. Like you could like I like you could be 99% <laughs> sure something is fake, but it's just like I could see an unpaid intern in a basement <laughs> make no, being forced to make this. Also, I actually really hope that this someone made this card because the, the pot with the hands by his mouth can doing like this is fucking <laughs> hilarious. Great face. Alright. Pot of egotism. Uh, draw two cards. You cannot activate spell cards for the rest of the duel. Whoa, except this card. You can only activate one of this card per turn. What the fuck? Man, that is a really bad effect. Um, if they made this card, I'm assuming they made this post Pot of Greed because like, isn't so is Pot of Greed like the best card of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh? No, or is it like it's it's, ar it's arguably <laughs> not even that good right now. But <laughs> don't don't oh, let that it, don't let that detract you from how batshit insane this game has gotten. Wait, but like they banned they, the card's banned currently, right? In the format. Yeah, the card is like currently banned. That's what that's why I was asking because I uh, the re like my my logic with this is like they made pot of greed and then they they were like that card's pretty strong so we have to make drawing cards weaker so mm -hmm. then they made this thing but then this thing is like the opposite side of the spectrum where I think it's miserable. Oh my god, no way they would make a card like this, dude. This is this is so much worse than I thought it was gonna be because legitimately <laughs> like anything could be real in this game. I'm gonna go with this card isn't real. The only reason I think it's not is because egotism doesn't make a ton of sense just with the effect itself. Um, but honestly, dude, I can see it being real, but I'm going to go with it's not. You're correct. This card is fake. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I can okay. see you <laughs> fist pumping the air like, let's go. <laughs> I'm not even fist pumping. I'm more like relieved because honestly, I think I think this one's like a 50 50. Like you can show this to anybody and be like, is this real? I think people would believe you. Uh, this is actually a worse version of a card that actually exists called Sekka's Light. <laughs> Next card. Bonfire. Add one level four or lower pyro monster from your deck to your hand. You can activate one bonfire per turn. Oh my god, see this also looks like a real card. See, like that reads like a real card. It would be a real card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like bonfire makes sense, even though the art is kind of not really a bonfire. It looks like more like a torch. Um, it's also another again, thing. This is would Konami make the artwork just a straight up torch yeah see oh my god see this is why like it's so hard to judge because like it actually like just from the photos you showed before like it, it could just be real like this whole thing just could be real i think this card's real this card looks real i can see it this card is real yes oh my god i can't i've got i've gotten everyone right what the fuck? bro i should have i should have made better i should have made worse cards all these this cards are crazy. too real. They're too real. All right. I can't believe they used that art for Bonfire, by the way. That's hilarious. I know. <laughs> I was like, like a torch. when I saw it, I was like, did they just like grab a stock photo? Or <laughs> Next card. Like, what is this, dude? dude Pound you know Twister? Was insane. <laughs> oh my god. Target one spell slash trap on the field, destroy it. Then if a monster was in the same column, destroy it. You can only activate Town Twister once per turn. I, I don't think you've ever shown me this either, but in Yu-Gi-Oh, I, I guess it, like, what's the, what's those summoning boys that have the arrows? Oh, um, no. That, like, point <laughs> the summoning boys that have the arrows. <laughs> like they're called, synchro they're, or whatever? They're called link, what are they called? They're called Link, link. Monsters. Okay, when, when Link Monsters are summoned, right, and it points down, I guess that's like referring to the column below it. 
Um, yeah, the zone. But I don't below think I've ever the zone below it. I don't think I've ever seen seam column before though. Seam column, man, it could be real though. Like I could see it. I'll tell mm. you this. This might this might lead you astray or in the right direction, but there are a lot of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh that do care about columns. Not right. not a lot of them are good, but <laughs> there are cards. That was the most neutral advice I've ever heard in my life. Um, that didn't help me at all, but it also Hell didn't push yeah. me in any direction. <laughs> I can see this. I think this is real. I can see it. And the facade crumbles. This card is fake. Fuck. This card is fake as hell, Fuck. boy. <laughs> was the was the column thing actually real? Like, is that actually a real thing in Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, there are Please. cards that like care about okay. columns, but just a card like this just doesn't exist, unfortunately. You know, honestly, I'm gonna say it. This is the most real card you've showed me, and I can't believe it's fake. Dude, I saw like this and I was like, huh, I'm kind of surprised they didn't just like make this already. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck? I don't got this, man. <laughs> Linear equation cannon? Dude, please tell me this isn't a real card. What is that name? Go, go, go take During a gander the at the text. Okay, it's a trap card. During the battle phase, declare a whole number from what? Oh no, not a whole number. Declare a whole number from one to six. Choose one effect monster your opponent controls. Multiply the effect monster's level X, the declared number. Then add the number of cards your opponent controls and check if the results equal the number of your cards in your graveyard. Hold on, I gotta read that one more time. That <laughs> I think I saw this actually in my calculus course in university. Add, then add the number of cards your opponent controls and check if the results equals the number of cards in your graveyard. Sure. If yes, send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard up to the declared number. And if you do, shuffle cards your opponent controls into the deck up to the number sent to the graveyard. If no, you lose life points equal to the declared number times 500. You can only activate one of these per turn. Dude, oh my God. See, the best way to look at this piece of shit is to look at it as literally a linear equation where like Y equals MX plus B, where Y yeah. is the whole number. And you, you'll get the, I mean, you get the idea. We all went to school. But like, I dropped out. The, the the crazy thing here, <laughs> crazy <laughs> little warrior, crazy uh crazy thing about this card though is you have to do this imagining in your head like I'm sure it might be a master duel but like this is actually you have to do like quick mental math to actually try to get the yes if if you really want obviously you want the yes if you get the no you're kind of fucked um which is not even I guess that much of an upside as far as I can tell um there's way more consistent ways of doing what you want to do with this card so this you is probably you don't want to do a math equation to remove your opponent's board saying that out loud is like <laughs> is that actually something real in this card game and this is the only card game where this would actually be real you showed me last time like rolling dice rolling dice is a thing that i think is way more common because in pokemon you flip heads or tails Yu-Gi-Oh has rolling dice and i'm sure in master duel it does that automatically for you like, would they put this card into the game? Like, yeah, they probably would. Yeah, this is real. This is real. You are correct. This is a real card. <gasps> I just, I'm trying to picture a world where I'm like opening booster packs and I'm looking for blue eyes, white dragon. I'm like, oh shit. And then the next card you pull is linear equation cannon. You get reminded every day that you have homework to do the next day. Confronting the seat. What the fuck? <laughs> When your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck, except during the damage step, you could special summon this card from your hand. If you do, this card is unaffected by monsters effect that target this card. Oh my God. Okay. That seems like a real effect. I don't even know why I'm pointing this out. They all seem like they're real effects. Oh my God. Especially at the last one. Dude, if you show me the linear equation one first, it, I, I would have just added the video. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a real enough effect where I think it's in the game. Um, it makes sense why they would even write except during the damage step. I could see this being real. It's got a good enough defense. God, oh, this art is so funny. What the hell is the C? That's my real question. This, but do you want the short answer or the lore answer? Give me the short answer, Drew. The, I don't need to hear the lore of this game. <laughs> the The general idea is that the C are a bunch of like super sentai cockroaches that just fuck with this guy in his house. What the fuck? Don't don't Wait, think too hard. You don't want to live in this this Yu-Gi-Oh world. Um okay, well, I guess in that case, um this card's real? Sure, yeah, it's real. <laughs> this is a real card. Oh my fucking god, dude. I don't know what's worse, honestly, when you tell me they're real or fake. Like I, anyways, 
This is this is Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm I'm more surprised you didn't just question like the, the artwork and if this is even a real thing Dude, in general. You showed me linear equation canon. All right, at that point there is nothing I can say is fake. Uh, Phantom Hand. Uh, this is a trap card. Once per turn. If you control a face up infernity monster, is that a type of monster? For yeah, Inf for context, infernity is an archetype that cares about your hand being empty. If that, <laughs> if that helps oh. or not. <laughs> oh my god! Even if this is real, does it matter? You play all your cards in the first turn anyways in this game. This feels like a mistake. You're just playing this card to delay how many cards you can play. I mean, oh god, <laughs> I'm looking at the art. Phantom hand. It looks like this would be real. Like the way that the, the cards are kind of fading in his hand, it looks like a phantom -esque thing, like a ghostly card. Makes sense. I can see it. I mean, I can see it, man. I, I think this is... Oh my God. <laughs> You're not just questioning if a card that just nukes your hand for free exists in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Dude, th listen, again, you've actually showed me cards last time, like not even in this video, like the last time we did this where I had to guess Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I couldn't believe were real. This is this is nothing, dude. Like I'm already desensitized to all this Yu-Gi-Oh nonsense. So this is probably real. This card is real. Oh. It's awful. It's terrible. Why would you want to nuke your own hand for like this? But yeah, it's technically a real it's, card. Unfortunately, it's technically, <laughs> it's technically, it's technically real. a real card. But t Town Twister is it? That blows my mind. Mischief of the Time Goddess. Him. Is this what a time goddess looks like in Yu-Gi-Oh? Okay, I can maybe get behind it. See, I remember oh a card. Wait. I can, I, I can, uh, there's a card. Wasn't there like a clock looking fucker in this game? I clock like looking is. fucker. All right. <laughs> no, he's like a big clock. And I think he has like a top hat. Time wizard. That's literally his name. This is a time goddess. Yeah, see, this is where I'm lost. Uh, okay. Neither player can activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. Oh. Can't be activated as chain link two or higher. At the end of your wait, can you sacrifice cards, spell cards, to do chain links? Uh, just ignore that part of the text for for, for all intents and purposes. <laughs> At the end of your battle phase, if all monsters you control are Valkyrie monsters, min one, like you have to have at least one. Yes. Send this card to the graveyard. Also, immediately after this effect resolves, skip the start of the battle phase of your next turn. If you do, you cannot activate this card until the end of your turn. What? Why would you want to do that? You get to attack twice. You get two battle phases. Okay, but it, does it say that on the card or do you just know that? <laughs> um, good question, honestly. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> if you showed me this card and you said that to me, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, that's that's how it interacts. Okay, if that's how it interacts, I guess it's not the worst card I've ever seen in my life. Because two battle phases in older Yu-Gi-Oh! probably was pretty good. That's, um, like, you've probably seen the card in Hearthstone where you get, um, uh, like, an extra turn. That's usually really strong. And there's also a card in Magic that, that was also really strong. So, this is probably okay back in the day. Yeah, I could see this being real. I need to start it's pulling out more card. fake cards, bro. This is real. Uh, funnily enough, you said that, uh, this card would be good back in the day. Uh, this card came awful. out in 2018. <laughs> Dude, are you? I'm starting to believe that uh, they don't play their own game. Yes, you are objectively correct. <laughs> okay, just from looking at the art, bro. Like, what? There's no. Let me read the card first before I judge this. Look at him go. Weather report. I don't even. That guy looks like a fucking Wii character. Um, <laughs> flip. Destroy all opponents face up. Swords of revealing light on the field. If swords revealing light is destroyed, you can perform your battle face twice this turn. What the fuck? <laughs> Sword of revealing light. I don't even know what that is. I'm assuming that card was probably good, and this card was made in response. Uh, Harson's done that a couple of times. Um, this is a weird looking card, man. I don't know. <sighs> How is this a weather report? Don't, what is Swords of don't think light too hard. <laughs> don't think too hard. I have to think hard. If I don't think hard, how can I tell if that card's real or not? <laughs> that's, why I would, that's why when he asked me to do this, I was like, this is kind of bad because every Yu-Gi-Oh card is a fucking custom card. Yeah. Uh, this card remains in the field, but when you destroy it at the end of the phase, your opponent's third turn. When this card is activated, your opponent's control face down monster flips. Yeah, I see this. Okay. <laughs> if you tell me that this card was made in the last three years, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, this looks like a pretty good card back in the day. I can see that. So I guess weather report was made in response for this card, which makes me think it is real. Or do you think some very angry redditor made this in response to getting swords of revealing lighted? See, oh my god, when you bring in that, yeah, you're right. <laughs> or is Konami like, just that bad at game design? <laughs>
I'm gonna go with this card's probably fake, but honestly, dude, it does not surprise me if it's real. I, I think the part that's really getting me is the art, because the art looks just so strange compared to all of the other Yu-Gi-Oh cards I've seen. Unfortunately, this card is real. <laughs> No, it's not. It's real. This this <laughs> shit this shit is so whack. This is like the worst designed card of all time. It's awful, awful artwork, awful stuff. Everything about this <laughs> card just sucks. I hate it. It's man, I just can't get over the art. All right, we got one last one with the boys. Okay, I I I can I just take a moment to really appreciate the art here. This is fucking phenomenal. They're all. <laughs> They're on a table and they're negotiating with the cockroaches. <laughs> during each player's turn, sorry, during either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that includes adding a card from the deck to the hand, you can special summon this card to your opponent's field. Cards cannot be added from either player's main deck to the hand except by drawing them. Wow, that actually seems like not a bad effect. Um, but you're also just giving them a free monster, which, but I mean, it's probably better to summon that than just die. So that's pretty great. I can actually see this being a real card. It actually makes a ton of sense. It matches the other flavor with the C. It has the same art style. This is probably a real card. This is a real card, 100%. You can't lie to me, this is not a real card. This is a fake card. <laughs> no fucking way, man. No way. How the f dude, this is what? Okay. It looks so real. I feel like I am, you know, I'm like, I'm leaving like the insanity hospital. <laughs> like I, I finally got out, right? I finally got out. You mm -hmm. showed me this card. I'm like, oh, everything makes sense in the world. And I'm right back in. I just turned around after you told me it was fake. You turn around to the dude. guy at the bus stop. He's a shadow person. <laughs> You're just like, God uh, damn it. I can't believe that's not a real. How is that not real? And weather report it. Okay. Look, okay. I, I've said it once, I'll say it again. <laughs> I play Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't think this is a well-designed game at all. Wow. Okay. Did you uh, Did you think that this was going to be harder than the Hearthstone one? Yeah, I honestly thought that this would be way harder, just because you would have basically had to coin flip for, is Yu-Gi-Oh! this bad or difficult to understand as a card game that they would print fucking linear equation canon? <laughs> <laughs> linear equation? And it is so fucking funny. You will do math. <laughs> that is one of the craziest cards I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, I don't actually No, I'm going to take that back. That is the craziest card I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is that is some fucking batshit crazy design. Oh, my God. I can't even imagine. Let's and it was printed last year. It's what Kazuki Takahashi would have wanted. <laughs> <sighs> no, it's not.